Continuing education units, or CEUs, are often required to maintain professional certifications. If you've dedicated the time, energy, and attention necessary to obtain your certification, you certainly don't want to lose it because you didn't keep up with the requirements. In most cases, if you fail to meet the CEU requirements, you'll have to re-qualify for the certification, which may include taking another exam. To avoid that kind of unnecessary stress, it's important to properly manage and track your continuing education requirements. If you're not sure how to do that, keep watching. Hello, I'm Chrissy Civic, professional development trainer and founder of eatyourcareer.com, helping you create a nourishing professional life. Let's start by discussing why CEUs matter. CEUs are a really important part of the certification process. In my view, it's what makes professional certifications so powerful. When someone is certified, it means that they've not only demonstrated competence in the relevant material, they've also participated in continued learning to stay up to date on the topics. The same is not true for college degrees. Once you earn your degree, you have no obligation to continue learning in that field. Of course, that is not to say that a degree isn't valuable. It just doesn't show the same kind of continued commitment to the field. In order to manage your CEUs, you first need to know how many hours of continuing education are required to maintain your certification, in what time frame they need to be completed, and what kind of training or independent study qualifies. For example, PACE is a certification for administrative professionals provided by ASAP. In full disclosure, I am deeply involved in the PACE program as its lead trainer. At the time of recording this video, those who obtain the PACE certification need to complete 24 hours of continuing education every two years to maintain it. These requirements could change in the future, so please verify this information on the ASAP website. It's always a good idea to look at the total number of hours required and the time frame, and then create a reasonable plan of attack. If you need 24 hours of education over two years, that works out to one hour per month, which is easily doable. However, if you fail to be consistent, you could create a pile up at the end. It is much harder to get multiple hours of education in a short period of time. In order for something to qualify as a CEU, it usually needs to meet certain standards. For example, the content of the learning needs to be directly related to the body of knowledge used for the certification, and it can't be a sales-oriented presentation. It must be a learning activity, though the cost of the activity is not necessarily relevant. A free training session, for example, would qualify as long as it meets the content requirement. It's always up to the certifying organization to determine whether or not something qualifies, and if so, how many units are awarded for any given activity. In general, one hour of activity equals one or one fraction of a continuing education unit. Some certifications accept a wide variety of learning activities. For example, I have the PMP certification. I can earn CEUs, or PDUs as they're referred to, in many ways. I can earn them for participating in conferences and traditional training events, whether in person or virtually, but I can also earn them for training I develop and deliver myself as a trainer on this topic. I can even earn them for books I read or articles I write. As long as the things pertain to the topics relevant to project management, they can qualify within specified limits. Again, 
always check with the certifying organization to determine what learning activities qualify. Most certifications ask that you track the following information related to your learning activities. Title of the training, the provider, dates completed, number of hours, description of the activity. You may notice that I didn't say a certificate of attendance is strictly required. It's often considered optional. In my experience, many organizations follow an honor system. When you obtain your certification, you agree to follow a specified code of ethics, which includes being honest about the learning activities you report. That being said, most organizations also state that they are free to audit your reported hours at any time. That may mean they ask for more details about the activity, proof of your work, or verification of your participation. So with that in mind, it's always a good idea to save your certificates of attendance if possible. I recommend that you track all of this information as you go. Don't wait until the end of the year to go back and try to capture what you did. You are much more likely to forget things that way. Personally, I like to also report as I go, meaning I capture the information for my own records, but I also just go ahead and input the data into the online tracking system for the certification. That way, I don't forget to do it later. There are a number of different tools you can use to track your CEUs. Some people use a simple Word document or Excel spreadsheet. Other folks use OneNote. Personally, I use Notion, which is a note-taking application similar to OneNote, but it's a little more flexible and robust. I do not suggest tracking on paper, only because it is far too easy to misplace. In addition to a tracking tool, you may also want to create a file on your internal or external hard drive or on your cloud storage system for professional development. This is where you can store all of the materials for your learning activities, things like agendas and handouts, notes and workbooks, in addition to your certificates of attendance. If you receive learning materials in physical format, you may choose to store them in three ring binders or file folders, but I also suggest scanning them and storing them electronically for convenience. That way, if you're ever trying to find something that you vaguely remember learning about, you can just use the search functionality on your computer to find it, rather than having to sort through piles of paper. Lastly, if you're in need of continuing education units, I would love to invite you to join my Career Success Library, which is a robust learning center for career-minded professionals. It's perfect for people who have certifications related to administrative professions, or if your certification has a productivity, leadership, communication, or career management component. The library has hundreds of professional development resources and currently more than 70 on-demand training webinars. It's an affordable, enjoyable way to meet your CEU requirements. Learn more at mycareerlibrary.com. If you follow the suggestions I've outlined here, you'll protect your hard-earned certification and ensure you have it for years to come. If you enjoyed this video and you're watching on YouTube, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. For more career advice and professional development resources, visit me at eatyourcareer.com and be sure to sign up to be notified about my free professional development webinars and other training opportunities. Thanks for watching.